Well, I love this. In Matthew 6, 19, thanks for joining me. And the words of Jesus, do not, do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust, he didn't talk about inflation, um, destroy, where thieves break in and steal. Jesus is saying here, we must not live a materialistic lifestyle. Now, he's not saying that we shouldn't save. We shouldn't, um, you know, have a budget and have a financial plan. We must spend wisely, invest wisely, and, and you know, um, be accountable in, in some way. I mean, we are accountable to God in every aspect of our lives. He's not saying, well, don't be wise, don't be smart. But if our entire objective in this life is, oh, what, I want to get rich. I want to have a huge savings and, and, and retirement and I'm just going to build, you know, and have this great big house and these cars, fancy cars or this or that or the other. Just focusing on the material aspect of life. We live in this world. We need to have those some of those things, yes. But if that's all we're thinking about, he says, do not, those are your treasures. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on the earth. The moth comes and you should destroy the clothing that they would have in those day and times. Uh, rust would come and destroy, um, you know, the, the things that they would have. And, and thieves also would break in and steal. Take from us what we have he says that's what's gonna that's those things can that's the risk he says no but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven in heaven seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and that applies to believers in the third world and in the developed world it applies to believers all over the world it applies to believers in all in all times all centuries Lay up for yourself treasures in heaven, in heaven. Neither moth nor rust can destroy. Thieves are not going to break in. They can't steal what is stored up for you and me in heaven. Lay up treasures in heaven. So we should be seeking in our lives every single day as Christians to be responsible, to be responsible, to be smart. We take care of our needs and we trust God also to help us and provide for us here on this earth. But it's not our focus. When we put God first, when we put his kingdom first, he is going to take care of our things, our business, our lives, because he is provider. He says, look, this is so important, so true. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Where your treasure is. If it's on this earth, and in finances, and, and, and money, and all those things, your treasure is here, your heart is going to be here. And if your treasure is in heaven, your heart will always be in heaven towards spiritual things, towards the things of God. And I don't think the Lord saved us so we can be focusing on material, materialism, materialistic things, things around us, the physical things. We are spiritual beings. Eternity is forever. Our lifetime is short. Let's be wise as Christians. Use our time wisely. Use our resources wisely. And our energy and our focus you know, do the th what God has called you to do and f seek first the kingdom of God. Put him first. Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. We should let our hearts be um, on the things of God. Let God be king. Let him be Lord and God of our lives. Rule and reign in our hearts. So today, Lord, we worship you. We praise you. Help us, God, to surrender everything to you. Commit fully to you and allow you full scope in our lives, Lord. In the name of Jesus, amen.